it's your boy Upper Class and I'm rocking with Let the Streets Know. The streets need to know that beef is a broke nigga sport and most of my ops are broke. Like, these niggas is broke. Like, they always want to beef with niggas, don't got no money to eat and shit. Like, you hungry and you beefing. How you trying to beef on an empty stomach, man? Fab said it best. Beef is only good when you're in the burger business, you feel me? And a nigga like me ain't out here trying to sell no burgers and shit. We getting big bands over here, you feel me? Big, big racks. That's what this what, this what the BMG niggas do. We get big racks, you feel me? So get your money up, not your funny up. You heard? Light little six pack. Talk to me nice and I'll talk to you twice, man. BMG got the city hot. Niggas already know what it's here for, you feel me? Streets just need to know that. My ops is broke. The first album that I own. Uh, Cassidy, Cassidy, yeah, I think I was in like, I was in, I was still going to South Shore and shit around that time, but he, I think he came up with Bars, is it Bars? I think that's what the album called, Bars, you feel me? Yeah, for everybody who knows me, know Cassidy is my favorite rapper, you feel me? Barry, Barry Adrian Reese, you feel me? My music style? Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't put my style in like a specific genre. Like I don't like, I'm, 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 I'm able to make music on any type of beat. I can, I think I can fit into any genre. You feel me? As long as I know, like, like the direction of the song, I think I could, I could do a song with anybody. So I don't really have a specific style. You feel me? I'm versatile. If y'all was gonna buy me a drink, but she y'all buy me. <laughs> Yo, my fans know this answer. My fans know it. They gonna be in the comments. My fans know it. Y'all already know, man. You gotta get me a Stella, man. You know the vibe. I need that Stella, you heard? <laughs> Room service, huh? I mean, like I've been to I've been to a few hotels and shit like that, but I don't really, I never really got anything from room service, you feel me? Like when I be at Hotels and shit, I don't get nothing from room service. Like, niggas that order like DoorDash or some shit like that, you feel me? Get, I'm, I'm a picky eater, you know? And everybody who knows me know, like, I love seafood, you feel me? So, I, every chance I get, I gotta be eating some type of seafood. So, like, I don't really order nothing from, yeah, room service. I get, I get my inspiration from different things. I think I make music based on, like, how I'm feeling at the time, you know? Like, my emotions is what, you know, brings out the music in me, you feel me? So if I'm mad, I might make something that's real heartfelt and, you know, a lot of people could relate to it, you feel me? If I'm if I'm in a, in a day where I'm just thinking and shit like that and I'm reminiscing on old days, I probably write some pain music, you know? Like, about the days when nigga was struggling on the come up, you feel what I'm saying? Shit like that, you know what I mean? As far as artists coming up right now, I see, I see like Busy Banks. I see him going somewhere because he, he he can rap and his 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 like the way his focus is right now and and his direction that he's heading in. If he stays on that path, like I think that that'd be that'd be somebody that'd blow up. Fabio Foreign, he has his own style of music. You know, he, he's energetic. You know what I mean? He's gonna be marketable. I see him blowing up. You know, who else? I, you know who actually I think will be a good candidate to Bando Black because I was watching an interview with him and and son is like, you know, he the way he thinks is like, you know, he fit for he fit for the position. You feel me? The only thing he just like has to change a little bit of his aura and shit so that he can be more marketable. Okay, about the. The VSK shit. A lot of people want to know about this too. Alright, as far as VSK, it's like, alright, boom. You see with me, when whenever I have beef or any altercations with anybody, I usually like to direct it straight to them people, you know? Even though they're I they're they're linked up with other people and shit like that, and other people might feel away. I just want to make sure that everyone knows that I right, yo, this is the people I got problems with. I don't have problems with everybody else, you understand? And then it's crazy, even some of the people in there I don't have a problem with, you know? There's a lot of them subscribe to my channel, a lot of them hit me up, some of them I grew up with, shit like that. So I don't have a problem with everybody from there, but the people I have a problem with know, you feel me? They know who they are, you feel me? 
everybody doesn't have to involve themselves in it. I mean, I am, I do say VSK, but if it don't apply, let it fly. You feel me? If you apply it to yourself, then it is what it is. It ain't no, I, I ain't copping or none of that. If you want to involve yourself in the shit, you know what I mean, let it be known and shit. You, you, you could be a player on the field too. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? I mean, like, I, sometimes it be it be aggravating because I like I know better. You feel me? I know that I was actually in the streets and like I know that I don't want to be praising the streets and shit like that. You feel me? Like I passed that stage in life where I thought shit was cool and shit to do. You feel me? I didn't did time all that shit already. So sometimes it do get me annoyed because I know like yo this is who I am. But to them, they just think I'm just a YouTuber, you understand? Because they don't know no better. I can't really blame them. Some of them actually are just trollers and they just want to talk shit. But to me, like, I really don't, I mean, I, I don't care, but do care at the same time if you get what I'm, if you get what I'm saying. Because, like, it don't really matter to me if you think I'm tough or not. Because a tough nigga doesn't want to promote toughness, you feel me? A, 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 a nigga who's really like that wants to keep that shit on the hush. You feel what I'm saying? So like it, that that's the only part that really don't bother me. Because if you see me in the street and you come up to me thinking that yo, yeah, I'm just a reaction nigga, then you know, shit can happen to you, feel me? Like I say in my intro, don't get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. The reason I started saying that is to let niggas know, like, yo, listen, I'm not just a nigga that sits behind the camera, you feel me? I'm like I've been in the streets. You know what I mean? Like I didn't almost lost my life on on more than one occasion being in the street. So, you feel me? I try to sway away from the street because a lot of these dudes that talk tough on the internet and worried about all this nonsense right now, like they don't have real no real street credentials. The niggas who look up to them are only 15 year olds and younger, you feel me? Little ass kids who don't know nothing, who still malleable, they don't know nothing about life. Those niggas are only tough to the people in their vicinity. They're only tough with their friends. They're not tough in other hoods. Other people don't respect them, you feel me? They don't do nothing to people outside of their hood. They just do shit on the internet, you know what I'm saying? And people who know me know, like, yo, you know what I mean? What's going on? So, you know what I mean? To all sum it up, it's like, the shit, it's, it's not really a bother. It's just sometimes, you know, when people are in the comments and people hit me up saying a whole lot of bozo shit sometimes, you know, it's just, it gets annoying. That That's basically, it gets annoying. You feel me? Other than that, though, like, I don't really, you know, it, I don't really, it ain't nothing too crazy. It don't really bother me too much, you feel me? How did it, we start beefing? I mean, I really don't consider it beef because at the end of the day, nobody got hurt. Nobody got touched over the situation. It's just disagreement and, 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 and you know, we, we got two different perspectives on the situation. We both looking at the situation from two different angles and shit like that. You know what I mean? The reason why I end up when we exchanging words is because, you know, he got to the point where he felt like he could say things that I didn't approve of. Like he felt like he could just say whatever. I, and I guess that came with the point of him thinking I'm just a regular YouTuber. And then what makes it even funnier is like, a lot of people on the internet go, oh, he's just a YouTuber and he just this. And they question my, they question my street credentials, but they don't question the man who has millions of videos on social media exposing him. Like, they don't question his gangster. Like, how do you think that a nigga like that is gangster? You feel me? That's how I know that when Takashi 6 9 come home, he's gonna still be making platinum diamond records and shit because people still gonna support it. Because, you feel me? No matter what niggas have on their back, it's like people don't, like, once you're a fan, you, you like, you blind, you, you, you blind to it. Like, you don't, it's not that you blind to it, you choose not to see it. You don't wanna see it. You feel what I'm saying? So now it's like, with me, I don't even try to argue the situation too much because at the end of the day, no matter what, they're going to look at it how they look at it, you feel me? But me being me and me knowing what real is, you feel me? I can't respect certain niggas, you feel what I'm saying? And that's, that's it, really, you feel what I'm saying? Oh right, yeah, 2-3 is my block, you feel me? Like, 
Most people know I'm from 23rd, right? 2-3 is not for babies. We don't, we're not babies. We, we, we cool with certain niggas that's babies though. Some of them niggas is the homies. But we're not babies. We're, we're, we're from Jordan Block. That's why we say 2-3 Jordan Block. If you because we're from 23rd. That's where the 2-3 comes from. It's not babies. I've seen a lot of people in the comments thinking I'm babies. But shout out to my babies. But I'm not, I'm not babies. You feel me? Um, feel me? BMG. You know what I mean? Y'all know BMG got the city out. You know the vibe and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, man. Straight. We got the city out right now. We got this shit in a frenzy. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And clout. Right, a lot of people don't know that clout isn't just views. Clout is the influence, you feel me? The power you have to control your fans or your supporters and shit like that. That's clout. You can have a million views with no clout, you feel me? Clout is the influence behind the following. A lot of people could see your video, but they're not following. They're not a follower of you, you feel me? See what I'm saying? So clout is when you have influence over a certain type of people, you feel what I'm saying? So like me, the mobsters, my, my, that's my subscribers on YouTube. They, if I say go to such and such comments and comment this, you go to the comments, you will see them doing that. That's what clout is, you feel what I'm saying? It's not just views. You got a million views, so you got clout. That's not clout. A lot of people got clout confused, you feel me? That's not, that's not the real meaning of clout. But it's your boy Upper Class, and the streets had to know, so we let them know, you know? <laughs> yeah, man, check out my music and shit too, because a lot of y'all don't know I rap, you feel me? So go check out my music if you haven't. No filter, kill shot, vigilant. I got a few songs that I re uploaded and shit because YouTube deleted all my music and shit. So I had to re-upload. So I mean go check out my music and shit like that. You feel me? And let's make this clear. If we ain't never ran into each other in real life, if you never did nothing to me, if you wasn't with somebody who did something to me at the time they did something to me, you're not my op. We do not have beef. I'm making this shit clear. We do not have beef. Nobody has time to be catching innocent people and doing things to innocent people and going to jail for innocent people and then the nigga you actually looking for is still free. Nobody has time for that. So if you are just a friend of the person that I have beef with, you mind your business. But if you want to involve yourself, then you could be a casualty also. So I'm just letting niggas know, man. You feel me? Shit like that.